frame still looks mucky. Now in a previous video I showed you the uh, the Stanley screwdriver and now you're going to see it at, absolutely at work. Remember the shape of the the shape of the head allows you to get right into the parallel sides of the slot on the screw and you'll see that in a second. First thing first things first take the pulleys out. Now the way I do it and there's so many ways but the way I do it now the reason I do that is so that it loosens up the old rust because these haven't been out I'd say for well, since they were put in. So what we've got to do is with the small end, remember there's two ends on there, yeah, with the small end, yeah, we clean out the slot on the screw. By doing it like this, you keep the screw head reasonably parallel. Or the slot rather. It's going to be a matter of finding where the slot is. This one's going to be a bit there. No, it's not. It's not muddy. So you pull it out, you can never tell. So we've got the slot screen. Now what we do. It's trial and error. Turn it round onto the bigger one. Tighten it slightly. He said. So there we've got the the, the slot moving. And believe it or not, this is going to come out. Now, take the slot again. Give it a clean out. Tighten it slightly literally a fraction of a turn and then they come out generally relatively easy no only to clean out Three. Out already. Out already. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just take the out because they're going to be replaced. No, no, the condition is good. In slot. So, that's that screw out. Now you take the pulleys out. That's one pulley out. You can see how much wear is on there. Yeah, that's a hundred years of wear, or well, probably 150 actually, judging by these houses. That's one out. Again, just give it a gentle tap, and the other one comes out. And again, you can see how worn these are. So it is worth replacing them. Right, the next bit we want to do is scrape off the excess plate. Yeah. So we use the scraper. Um, I'll make a video of this because it's absolutely brilliant. But you're going to see it in action now. Here you've got lots and lots of old paint. Yeah, and you literally.
every night to keep that edge nice and crisp uh, because it looks better at the end. We're going to clean it up some more. But first of all, what we're trying to do is to get the real excess off. It does require strength. The sashes run against this piece here, so we need to get that as clear, clean as we can. Yeah. But first of all, we take off the excess, as we've done there. Now on the other side, we do the same thing. That now gets us started. Now the real cleanup begins. Let's well, clean this bit up while we're at it. Because this is in good, normally we take this bit away, but because it's in such good condition, we won't be doing that on this particular, particular job. is to leave as much of the original as you can that will come off in a minute but that's got the worst of it off for the moment is the paint scraper it's the best one I've ever used, and I've used lots and lots and lots and lots, but it's the best hand scraper um, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've used. The next stage, 